Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Elden Ring. Last time we left off, we were over there in the Ashen Capital, but right now we're in Murkwater Cave because someone has informed me that I was a fool. So, I sit in a bit of a weird spot uh, in relation to my TV, so sometimes these areas are pretty dark for me. I should really fix this problem. So last time we came in here, I walked in here, I saw the moss, I grabbed the moss, and then I walked out. But, if I had turned my lantern on like a smart person, we can see that this path continues. We're in the we're in the cave where Patches is supposed to be. So here we go. This is the treasure chest. Right here. Um, okay. Okay. But as people wrote in the um in uh, the, the the comments on those things where people couldn't find patches, they just found the thing with all the patches items, and patches is dead. So, Patch has died. I, I don't know why that happens. There must be something specific you have to do with Patch's side quest to uh, get him to live. But he would have been a merchant, but I can get access to all of his junk now with the bell bearing, so it's not the biggest deal. And this has cloth garb and trousers. So, I am sad that I will not get to hear uh, Patch's beautiful, beautiful voice. But oh well. So, what was your stuff again? It's probably up here, right? I think this is it, the leather set. I think I recall the whole thing with... Patches being that Patches wear, like, weirdly mismatched armor. And this is generic, so... Yeah, by a savvy soldier. It says these leather gloves were also worn by a savvy soldier. It says the leather armor is worn by a savvy soldier. Um, and you might have been wearing, like, the highwayman hood or something. Yeah, so nothing too crazy there. I got your bell bearing though, so we can head back over here. It, it, there's a few things that I'm like, God, I wish this game had. And it was maps for some of the bigger zones that aren't actually the world map, like Stormvale and stuff, like a smaller version of the map, and new item notifications. God. Would make my life so much easier. Okay, so let's go turn in the bell bearing and see what junk Patches had to sell. Patches was a very, very, very good merchant in Demon Souls and Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, he actually sold boss armor. In Demon Souls, he sold um, some of the better healing items for pretty cheap. So that was nice. Yeah, we have all of these things. I don't really care. Bell bearing shop too. All right, uh, fan daggers, Margit's shackle. What? A fetish bathed in golden light, shackles are used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestige of power, enough to trap the once bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. We could have gotten a version of Moog's shackle as early as the Margit fight if I had found patches? That's nuts. That is nuts. Okay. Parrying dagger. Knifed with curved handguards designed to parry, turning foes' attacks against them. For masters of combat who anticipate every strike and encounter accordingly, this weapon is all they need. And horse crest wooden shield, the circular horse head designed to focus a swift gallop. Another sacrificial twig. So yeah, you didn't sell anything too interesting. I mostly just wanted your dialogue, so it's a bit unfortunate that you're just dead now, but, uh, what can you do? Alright, so let's head over to the Ashen Capital. Was this the one I was at? The capital, uh, of Ash? I have to assume this was it, right? I thought I was kind of on the outskirts, but maybe I wasn't. Maybe I was in the actual town itself, but... You know, it's all ashy now. Yeah, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. No, we were in the town... Proper. Okay, um, where are we trying to get to, is my question. Because I kind of stopped last time, and don't remember totally where I stopped. Oh, hey, is that the shunning grounds? Can we, can we get into the shunning grounds still? Looks like maybe this is just a shortcut down here. Huh. 
Well, uh, color me interested. Okay, and I think if I fall right here, just barely. Whoa, no way, is this how we got that item all that time? Yeah, I remember seeing this. Do you have to actually wait until, <gasps> do you have to actually wait until, um, it, uh, what's the word? Until it becomes ashen to get that? So now that we have this, oh yeah, look at that HP we could get. Dummy thick HP. I don't really need it though. I'll stick with what I've got. So, uh, back to the Ashen Capital. Yeah, so this area is just totally different because the entire zone is just covered in ash now. Yeah, it is, it is pretty crazy visual to see so much of what we knew before covered in ash and destroyed now. I do find myself wondering why some of the buildings are destroyed. Like, I understand the concept of... Well, maybe they're not destroyed, maybe they're just... Maybe they all... Maybe... Yeah, it was kind of disheveled before. Like, obviously ash is falling from the tree, which is basically covering everything in ash. So we're seeing, like, the roofs of some of the buildings peeking out here, but some of them are, like, knocked over in various things. I suppose just tons and tons of ash being on top of something could maybe have enough weight to kind of pull something down slash knock it over. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's continue this way, why don't we? Danger ahead, their fortress safety, yeah. Are there gonna be any tarnished golden sunflower just hanging out over there? Kind of uh kind of apt. But there's just, like, one surviving sunflower. What is that noise? It sounds like something big is stomping around up there. I do not know what that is, but, uh... What is this? Nothing! Okay, I would like to try and get to Gold Mask in, uh... What was it? Corin? Okay, that gold sunflower specifically was not tarnished. Interesting. Okay, but I could see that over there. We also have this, but I don't think I can platform on it. Like I was hoping. Alright. Yeah, so we came this way. Did I- so I can actually teleport back to the Erdtree Sanctuary. Um, did I find that one last time? I don't remember. I know I was kind of just running through this place, that's why I kind of wanted to give it another look-see. Okay, we're on a roof. Don't really think this does much for me, but uh... Whatever. Yeah, I think I recall- so I recall going down there and hitting that up. I basically just think I stopped shortly after this because I was like, um... I don't know what to do next. Hello. Yeah, I want to get up there. Is that a jump I can make? <gasps> it is not a jump I can make. I didn't die, though. Yeah, okay, so I need to get up here so I can get over to Gold Mask. I just kind of want to see the reaction to me, you know, burning down their god. Basically. I'd like to- I'd like to see their reaction to such a thing. To me, just murdering their deity. Is there a... There might... Is, is like, deicide a thing? Because there's, there's like, patricide, there's, um, regicide. Is, is deicide a thing? I don't think I've ever heard of it before. But it could very, very well be a thing. Where does... Okay, this looks like this might be a path up here. Get on the dragon... Whatever this is. Footsie? Leg? Arm? Wing? Okay, this gets me back over here. Yeah, this may get me to where I want to go. Cool, cool, cool. Neat, neat, neat. I do think this is the final area of the game, so... We could possibly finish today, maybe? Depends on how long it would take me to beat the boss fight. Time for dead end. Aha! You're the one that's stomping around over here. Hello, down there. So you're doing your thing still. 
Okay, this is totally where I wanted to get to. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, we made it. So, what's down here? First off. Whoop. Oh, there's another pathway here. Hello. Try head. Is there any reason for me to actually be exploring this location again? I mean, I could fight you. Do I really want to, though? That seems like a rare item over there. I don't really want to fight the Valiant Gargoyle, I'm gonna be honest. I've killed Malaketh now. They're basically nothing to me. Let, let's, let's go check over here first. Let's go check in on our buddies, who are probably not our buddies anymore. Ooh, it's down here. Sorry, get distracted by everything. Oh wait, that's just another way down to the place we went before. You don't want to see me play Breath of the Wild. Believe me. You don't. You do not want to see me play Breath of the Wild. I may actively avoid playing Breath of the Wild 2 on the channel just because people people don't want to see that. People don't want to see that. <laughs> I also haven't finished Breath of the Wild 1 yet, so there's that too. I am damn terribly interested in that game, though. But I guess that's kind of the whole thing behind these games, is you can be like, ooh, what is that? And you can get distracted for... 50 hours. It can just be a bit more hair pulling for people watching when I'm like constantly getting distracted by new and shiny things and walking away from the things they want me to see. That's basically the gist I get from like every Elden Ring playthrough, especially the popular ones as people are like, no, go fight Radon. Don't walk past Radon. I want to see you fight Radon. And the people are like, ooh, I'm going to go collect to this you know, the 80th version of this weapon I have from this random catacomb, and they're like, no. <laughs> All right, so you dorks are supposed to be down here. Okay, you're super dead. You're su you're super dead. That's your that's your item pile, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Corin's bell bearing, flail, and Corin's robe. Corin's robe specifically. Where's gold mask then? It says the Noble Gold Mask is still here. Um, let's check out uh, Corrin's robe. Robe of Corrin the Cleric. Even after exile, Corrin refused to recant his prophecies. And for this, he was blessed with the guidance of grace. Since then, the cartwheel draped on his neck has served as a reminder that true guidance awaits those with iron wills. Those with unwavering faith. Well... Your faith, your unwavering faith didn't seem to do much for you in the end here, Corrin. Sorry to say. Uh, let it be fire. Sadness Erd Tree. Ah, destruction. Okay, so this isn't Gold Mask. Maybe that's just like... Because I don't, I don't see Gold Mask at all. Um, so... Unless Gold Mask's stuff is sitting down there, which I don't see it. I think the game is just incorrectly tagging Gold Mask here. Let me get see if I can get a better look down there without actually having to. Because your your shit might be down there. I just wish I could get a better look at it. You were standing like right here though. It would make more sense for your stuff to be right here. I don't see it down there. Okay, I think we're good. I think Corin was uh, all I was going to get. You, uh, you three aren't having the best time. You look like you're thoroughly not enjoying your experience, uh, in Landell today. What a bad day to choose to vacation in Landell, huh? Horrible day, really. Oh yeah, I was thinking we could take a trip to the capital, honey. See the sights and everything, and you get here and the earth tree's burning and everything's covered in ash. And gargoyles are walking down the street and you're like, Oh. No. Alright, well, do I want to try to go over here and grab that item that stupid gargoyle was guarding? Probably, right? Let's just- let's just go over there and grab it, because it looked like one of the- one of the orangey ones. The epic rarity item. Right. Let's go see what we got here. Hey, friend. Just gonna grab your shit. And be on my way. Just another one of those. Okay. Okay, so nothing... Crazy exciting. So how do I get back up? I mean, well, I know the easiest way to get back up would be... This. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so let's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? Let's just go get back up this way. I, when I saw my map close, I was like, oh, God. I'm not fighting you, you doofus. Yeah, roar all you want. You're not getting me. <laughs> did you just jump up here? Okay, no, you did not. Um... Like I said, roar all you want. It's not changing my stance. Yeah, there we go. Let's just drop down over here and get back on track, why don't we? So the path I actually want to take is this way? No. No, not this way. Although I don't think we've been over here before. The area is so open now, it's kind of insane to explore. Because you can just walk wherever. Surprise, that's like the only enemy I've run into so far. One singular enemy. One gargoyle just hanging out, guarding a uh, somber smithing stone. They wanted to make sure you had your weapon upgraded to max by the time you hit this area. For sure. Okay, I thought that was another enemy over there, but then that's just a statue. Oh yeah, there, there's the door. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Let's get in here. All this ash has got to be messing with my throat by now. Gotta be. Okay, elevator. Cool. Like I said, I could have maybe just taken the grace up here. But, uh, no, I want to actually do the walk. See the sights. Just, just teleporting to it, not getting to see some of the changes would have been, uh, boring. Spin around, spin around, don't see anything. Cool. Alright. Little balcony. Where someone would come onto the bridge and woo me as I'm standing here at night. In my night attire. Alright. What's up? Okay, yeah, this is the... This is the room. That we stopped off at last time. This is where we fought Gideon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that that was where I got this grace from. I just wanted to explore the town a little bit more. See the sights a little bit. Grab some stuff we may have missed. So, the question is now, where do I go? Up there, probably? Probably up there. Okay. I just want- I just needed the end- uh, to end the episode last time, so I was like, okay, we need to end things off. But, uh, there we go. We gave, uh, Lane- the Ashen Capital a little bit closer of a look there. But I think what it wants us to do now is just get up here and potentially fight the final boss? I'm not totally sure. I don't know. I'm kind of spooked, I'm not gonna lie. By what a final boss would be like. Okay, yep, there's the, uh, there's the thing in Maduhiki. Erd Tree Heal. So, still getting new incantations of Slate. Heals a vast amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erd Tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment, such as the course of all life. Alrighty, we've done it. Let's go ahead and sit at this one so I can, uh, set my, uh, respawn point over here. Because I am assuredly going to die. Okay. Yep, boss fight. Didn't even really have a zone to go through. This is just boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Okay. Should we do it? Let's, let's activate the summoning pool. Does this activate the NP summons too, I wonder? Like, do you have to do that to activate the NPC summons? If there are any? I haven't summoned an NPC since, like, what? Margit? Alright, um... Sip. And let's see what we got.
and hard didst thou fight. Tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Excuse me, why the hell do you have a stand? What is this? You have a stand though. Okay. Uh-huh. No, you don't. Uh-huh. Owie, you clipped me. Heal. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Rip. Owie. Pain. Okay. Pain. Big pain. Sip. Uh huh. Ow. That was ballsy. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Ow. Okay, I got greedy. I got greedy, I'll admit it. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, honestly, the only attack you had that was really problematic was that, uh, was that final one there. That one was, uh, pretty spooky. Not gonna lie. I should try out a uh, Horfrost Stomp on you, just to kind of see how that goes. I don't know what element that attack is. Is it fire? <laughs> I, I don't think earth is an element in this game. I would say it's that, since it's kind of the ground erupting. Maliketh had a very similar type of uh, attack. But it seems like most of your attacks are of the physical variety. I can summon my uh, spirit, if need be. Excuse me, what was that attack? Howie. Okay. This shield is absurd. My shield is, is godlike. Like I said, it's really just that one attack of yours that's, uh, problematic. All the other ones can be handled. Nope. Dang. Owie. Oh my god, the range on that is stupid. Okay. Hmm. I've got to figure out a way to deal with that attack. That attack is the problem right now. Your little, like, eruption that you do. It's hard for me to tell where the hitbox is right now because I, I don't know anything about it. But yeah, all of your other attacks, very, very easy to deal with. That one, very, very problematic. I'm expecting you to be a two-phaser, if I'm going to be honest, because you seem a little easy except for that one attack. Oh wait, it's probably like that one attack Margit had. It's not range, I just need to be in the air when it goes off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably it. That's probably it. Okay. Uh-huh. Eat ice. I got that too. I got that too, friends. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoop. 
Okay, get out of there. Owie. Uh-huh. Okay, Horfrost Stomp doesn't really seem like it's uh, getting uh, much use here. Okay, this seems to be a fight I can kind of just camp my shield, if I'm going to be honest. Until we hit the inevitable second phase, of course. Uh-huh. Oh, jump. Oh, I jumped too early. Way too early. Okay, that was a bad sip, but we did it. It's fine. That's fine. We can handle this. Okay, maybe we can't. Sip. Two sips. Uh-huh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to kind of learn your moveset right now. Like I said, so far it doesn't seem super bad. But this is definitely the first phase. Jump. Ugh, I couldn't. My stupid character can't get up fast enough. I know you've been knocked on your ass character, but could you show a, a little bit more speed on getting off the ground? That'd be nice. There you don't. Yeah, your attacks have enormous wind-ups, luckily. What is this? Okay, well, that was a thing. Okay, is this a next phase? Oh my god, is it? Okay. Nope. Okay, that was like a special phase that you entered? Uh-huh. Dang. Jump. Oh my god, I always jump too soon. It starts blowing, so I'm like... I need to jump, but, uh, it's too soon. No. Uh-huh. Okay, get those swings in. Dodge. Dodge the easy ones. Like that. There you go. Oh, that knocks me back. All right, let's get a little bit of distance here. No, you're gonna you're gonna chase me. Uh huh. There we go. Jump now. I. Damn, the timing on that is hard to get used to. All right, let's create some distance here. It's so hard to create distance when your range is enormous, but uh. Yeah, finding an opportunity to heal is going to be a rough one in these fights. No. No. Heal. Okay, good dodge. Bing. Nope. Okay, yes. Okay. No. And wait for the big glowy. It's so hard to tell when I need to dodge that. My god. It really- I really thought it was like Margit's attack, and I still kind of think that, but I'm just not sure of the timing anymore. Uh-huh. Alright, second phase. Okay, we're really going to have to get down that first phase if this is going to be happening.
I've given thee courtesy enough. Just horror loo. Warrior! Okay, you look kind of metal. I'm guessing you just removed your limiters, huh? That is a grab, isn't it? Maybe. Uh, no. Okay. I don't know what that was. Okay. What is the. Yeah, that's a grab. Oh! Oh, I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad, friend. Too cool to be mad. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Probably want to get out of there. Uh-huh. All right. You're you're doing it. Doing it. <laughs> I can't even be mad about the file driver, man. The file driver's too cool. Ow. I don't even care that I'm gonna die. You're just... Th this is too cool. Uh-huh. Okay, that was another grab. Oh, wow. I... I got a little bit ballsy there, but I was actually doing pretty good dodging. I think two-hand might actually be the way to go on the second phase. Second phase seems a lot easier than the first, actually. That was that was pretty damn close. I, I was sure I was going to die, so I just started, you know, playing kind of dumb there. But, uh, maybe? Maybe not. Alright, so let's look at ashes. What different ash could I put on this. How do you get, how do you just pull an ash off? Like, let's see, if I do Warfrost Stomp, undo, like I want cold, but if I do cold, I lose Bloodhound Step, because I want Bloodhound Step, but I don't want to get rid of cold. And it seems like if I want cold, I have to keep that. Cause, well, I have to put a weapon art on, basically. Um, and it seems like there's only a few things I can actually put on here. Um, yeah, I just don't have a lot of options is the problem. Period. Uh, Bow of the Indomitable. That's all I can put on my Great Shield. Can I... Don't, don't I have some, some more ashes in my thingamadoohickey? Yes, I do. Let's just get all of these out, why don't we? I don't know where... There I, there has to be an ash for getting a Bloodhound step, right? I just don't know where it is. It seems, it seems like you can get most abilities. Um, Alright, let, let's see what ashes we can put on now. Okay, see, we have a few more options now. Barbaric Roar. I could put Cold on it. But have Barbaric Roar, which would increase my attack damage, but... Eh, Beast Roar, Storm Stomp. Royal Knight's Resolve, Determination, Lightning Ram, Golden Slam, Sacred Order, and White Shadow's Lure. Eh. Yeah, I'm not really feeling any of these. What about my shield, though? What do I have... What, what do I... Don't, don't I have, like, barricade? What do I have that on? I think I have to go back to, um... The, uh, table. To get an ash off of something. But this... This boss... I know I said the same thing about Malekith, but this doesn't seem that bad, really. Like, I almost won there, assuming it is only two phases, and I wasn't even really trying. So... You know what? Let's just duplicate the stupid thing. Where's my where's my shield thingy that I want? There it is. Barricade shield. Just just duplicate the stupid thing. There we go. Cool. Wonderful. Awesome. So I have Ashes of War on 
what things exactly? Because there's... Yeah, you have determination. And you have repeating thrust. Neither of which I really care about. Alright, I just, I just wanted another one of the barricade shield ones. So, let's head back over here to the Queen's bedchamber. And give this some more uh, college tries, why don't we? Yeah, I got so close on my own again with this one that I once again feel like I don't need to use my Ash. I still hold using it against the dragon just because the walk back over there was a pain. But uh, this feels way more in my, in my le acceptable level of difficulty. So yeah, let's try this. How about this? We'll just do standard. But uh, yeah, so now I can do this and I don't know how good it's going to be or how useful it's going to be, but it might be very good for stopping some of your attacks. Because I believe when I used it last time, like it made enemies bounce off of it, right? I still would like to be able to get the Bloodhound step. Uh, just because that seems really good and I kind of want to see it in action because I remember the quick step on uh, like daggers and stuff in Dark Souls 3 and it was very good and it reminds me of that. So, I don't know. Alright. I do question, I, kn I know I've heard Sirash mentioned before. I do question what exactly the deal with Sirash was. Like why when you killed your lion friend, did you get stronger? I don't know. Bang, bang. Nope. Yeah. Okay, that is a very good combo. Very easy to deal with. I get a lot of uh, benefit from that. Okay, got the frost damage on you. You're being very, very friendly right now. Okay, here's... Okay, I was successfully out of the range that time. Bang. Uh-huh. Whoop. Uh-huh. Could have gotten another attack there. I was a bit too slow. Uh-huh. I'm gonna try and back off here. So I can heal. There we are. And boom. Nope. Okay, this is uh, this attack. Okay. Ouch! Oh, I, I, I tried to get up and jump. It seems like I can't recover fast enough. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nope. Calm down, Godfrey. No. Bad Godfrey. Uh-huh. That's that one. Get out of there. Okay, no, this is when you start getting this crazy junk. Uh-huh. Nope. Whoop. Okay. Very cheeky of you. Uh-huh. Okay. Whoop. Okay, no, I think I do just have to get out of there when you do that. I don't think it's a jump. If it is a jump, then I'm just getting the timing ridiculously wrong. Uh-huh. Ow. Got a little bit greedy there. Go ahead and heal right in your crotch. There we go. Gotta realize I can't block that when you're in this form. Heal. Uh-huh. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Now we just gotta watch out for some grabs. <laughs> the timing on that is so delayed. It's so delayed. Okay. Oh, I, I tried. Ah. Kill. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, these grabs! <laughs> I'm bad at dodging grabs in basically every single game I've ever played. But they, they seem like they have an enormous startup. I just need to get used to the timing. 
Uh-huh. Oh my god. Tarnished, I really need to get you a beer hat. You take too fucking long to sip that shit. Nobody takes that long to drink. No one. Whoop. Uh-huh. Sip. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 I... I... I couldn't get out of there. Uh-huh. Whew. Okay, that was a grab. Okay, get out of there. Owie. Still caught me. Still caught me. Jesus. Uh-huh. Okay, well, are, do you want me near you or not? Make up your fucking mind. Stop roaring. Uh-huh. Nope. Cute, though. Owie. Owie, ooch my bones. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Heal up. Whoa. Fucking God. Tarnished, what is wrong with your throat? <laughs> is your throat unreasonably small? Why do you have such issues swallowing? Is this a medical issue? Oh, fuck, yeah. I always dodge way too early on that. Like I said, though, I can't be mad at this fight. It's too hilariously cool. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> It's too hilariously awesome. <laughs> and it feels extremely fair. That's the that's the main thing. You're not flying around the screen and destroying my lock-on. Well, you have one attack that does that. Oh, yeah, I didn't use barricade at all that fight. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, you're not flying around the, the screen and destroying my lock-on. You're not doing anything crazy. You have fun attacks. I just need to learn the timing of them. This this reminds me of the Melania fight. Slightly less cool, but bonus points for, um, big, big bonus points for, uh, having, um, what's the word? Um, wrestling moves. That is, that is a big plus. Um, I'm looking at some of my things here and I'm like, should I take anything off? The physical damage negation seems like it'll, it'll be pretty good. Enhances jump attacks may be useful. Boost guard ability may be useful. Um, hmm. Enhances guard counters. Those seem like they were kind of hard to get off. I think I'm better just kind of wailing on you. Greatly boost the attack power of skills. Raises poise. Improve dodge rolling, but increase damage taken. That might be good. That might be good. Like, do this. But, um, like, take off my armor so I'm light rolling. Or just switch to a lower, smaller set of armor. Maybe that's the play. Or I can just equip this. Okay, that still doesn't put me at, media, at light load. Yeah, my, my, my armor's too chonky. So what could I do to get down to, um, light load here? Honestly, not sure. So, we could put the white mask on. That'll lower me quite a bit. We could swap to Blythe's armor. Blythe's gauntlets and Blythe's greaves. Okay, still too heavy. Take off the gauntlets. Um, okay. Smaller pants. Lo the, here we go. Like, war surgeon's trousers or some shit. Rai Lucaria Greaves. Sure. D d d traveling maiden's boots. Still? Still? Okay. Okay, so what What can I put on? Oh my god, even... Even here, I'm still not light. Probably because of my stupid massive shield. Um... Okay, so what if I instead replace this... There. Okay, now can I put on... Nope. Putting on armor immediately takes me up. Well, I need something to cover my stupid butt. Uh... Traveling... Okay, how about, how about, how about patches set, since we just got that? Nope, boots immediately take me up. My god. 
It is so hard to stay light rolling in this game. Is this how we win? Is this how we beat the final boss coming in looking like an idiot like this? Maybe. Let's do it. Let's just give it a shot for funsies, why don't we? So where's that thing that increases my improves dodge rolling but increases damage taken? Let's go. Let's go and let's just go in here and let's roll. Let's just roll. That's what we're gonna do. That's the play. My my dodge iframes should be a mile long, so this should be easy, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh god, I immediately died. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do take a lot more damage. I do. That is true. That is true, I do take a lot more damage. Maybe we try it just with the light roll, but without the thing that makes me take increased damage. Might be the play. What could I put on instead? Uh, blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Greatly raise attack power with extra attacks. Reduces damage. I could wear your icon. Lower FP consumed by skills. Uh, I'm just trying a bunch of dumb shit, I'll be honest. Enhances jump attacks. Uh, enhances guard counters. Let's, uh, let's just put this back on for now. Let's just roll that. I guess, yeah. Let's just roll that and get in here. I wish I could at least put some boots on. Just so we're not having to look at my butt. But no, I can't put anything on and carry the shield. Oh wait, no, 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 that's that's right. If I if I take this off, we don't light we don't light roll anymore. This needs to stay on, that is correct. Was I even light rolling that last fight? I don't think I was. I don't think I was. Well now that I think about it, if if I'm using this to no, I don't even need the shield. Put the stupid turtle shell on my back. There we go, now we look like a ninja turtle. Okay, cool. Now we can probably take this off, put this on, and maybe we can put some pants on. Okay, here we go. This is what we need to do. Leather boots. Yes, leather armor. Okay, I just can't wear... Okay, this is it. This is the build. This is it, right here. Look at that. Okay, I, don't, I didn't mean to get in my groin so much. Okay, we're a ninja turtle. We're just... We're just a ninja turtle. All right, let's do it. So much stamina regen. Fantastic roll. Let's do this, Godfrey. I'm twin clawing. Wow, my, my build has really evolved over the course of this game, huh? Like, in some stupid ways. Oh yeah, we're taking way reduced damage. See, this is how little armor does. I'm like, not even really wearing anything. I got caught there. I meant to roll back, but... I'm not even really wearing anything, but, uh, we're doing fine. Alright, I think now that I've decided I'm going to do this, we'll probably just start proper cutting these out. Because, uh, I've been here, I've been here bashing my head against it. I'll do like I do with the other bosses, where, um, if anything cool happens, if I come to any revelations, I'll show that. But, uh, otherwise, we are just going to be chilling, getting used to the boss, and I'll show if I ever enter phase two. Alright, we're at second phase. This is working out pretty well. Ah, not against that grab, though. God, you just wait a millennia to actually do it. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wait so long to actually grab me. So I'm never prepared for it. Oh, I'm so boned. Yeah, we're super dead now. Uh, can you let me out of the corner, please? Thank you. Okay. Now that we've recovered a little bit, maybe I can actually try to hit you. Uh-huh. Ow! <laughs> That is so cool! 
Can't even be mad, man. Can't even be mad. Yeah. Okay, so your whole... This is not a hard phase. It's just... FromSoft arbitrarily decides when the hitbox is. <laughs> because you have to pause so long for that hitbox on those grabs. But it, it's too cool, man. I never thought I would see the day where, I, where I, like, a... I don't even know if you're the final boss, but like a late game from soft boss. They just have wrestling moves. You like pile drive me and all kinds of crazy shit. Reverse DDT me, please. Ah, okay. I got, I got messed up there. I was doing really, really well at the beginning. It's absurdly easy to dodge your attacks when I'm light rolling like this. Um, but I don't want to put the thing that makes me take more damage on because... And then if I do screw up, it's so hard to recover. I'm really, really proud of this attempt. Um, sans this. That that was a screw up, but everything before this point was super, super cool. I was getting in there. Oh god, okay. You're doing the thing. All right, here we are. This phase. Wait way longer than you think you need to, me. That's what has to happen here. Oh god. I'm so boned. Yeah. I've tried jumping that and it just doesn't seem like it works. I don't know if I'm jumping at the wrong time because it seems like rocks fly up into the air and hit me even if I jump. It doesn't seem like the Margit attack, where you just jump when the actual shockwave comes off, like you time it, basically. It doesn't seem like that one. I don't I don't know if I've just gotten absurdly unlucky, or I'm doing it at the wrong time, but... I, jumping doesn't seem like the way to go about it, but I gotta say, I'm really, really proud of that last rally on that last fight, because, God, it looks so cool just to dodge all of their attacks and slash them in the butt. Like, let's see if I can do some cool shit here. Well, that's not a very good start. Yeah, no, this is a horrible start. No, this isn't what I'm talking about. Not this. Don't look at this. This is the shit I'm talking about. Like, look at this. Yeah, I got, I got clipped, but... Dodging all of their attacks like that, super, super fun. You feel like a massive, massive badass when you're doing it. Huh. <sighs> I'm considering maybe swapping my stuff up. Like I said, this is not hard. I just need to play better. I'm... He, he's not hard at all. It's 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 a little unfortunate, but you're, you're not exactly hard. You do have some cool attacks and everything, but uh, you're not really hard. I just need to find better things to use. So... I mean, Horfrost Stomp just sucks. Horfrost Stomp just sucks. I'll be honest. For this particular circumstance, because this is... Melania was able to be, you know, poise broken. You are not. Even if I even if I hit you with the freeze, uh, or the, the bleed, it doesn't seem like you stop your combo. You, you're just, you just don't care. Whereas Melania, I could actually kind of stun lock by just wailing on her. Alright, it feels like running away when you do that attack is kind of my best option. But, just look at this absurd shit I can do if I just get in your face. Like, I just feel so cool doing this. Of course, that attack sometimes clips me. Okay, we rolled at the right time there. Good stuff. Alright, big stompies. 
Uh huh. Very, very cute. Okay, I was a little bit late there, and that's what got me clipped. Heal. Owie. That's fine. Nope. There we go. Second phase. Oh, God. He waits so long. It's a millennia you wait. Oh my god, it's so long. <laughs> I just start panicking, because I'm like, oh, he's about to do it any second now, and he does not. Ugh. Yeah, so many of your attacks are so delayed that it's just... It's like, it's like playing Rock Band on Expert, and then going back to playing Rock Band on, like, Easy. You actually do worse. Holy shit, how long was that combo? Jesus Christ. Alright. Now let's now let's see if we can get in here. See what's happening. Uh huh? Out of here. Okay. We can now see what's happening. Ah, uh, yeah, I needed to get the heal, but you went right into uh, the grab afterwards. Ah. Uh. Heal. Okay, roar. Roar is fine. Oh, God. Roar is not fine, because roar means that garbage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the ground attack is really the one that's giving me the most problem. How dare you rip my chest open? Rude. All because I had the nerve to insult your stupid ground attack? Yeah, the ground attack's the only thing that really catches me super off- Well, I say that, but the grab attacks give me too. But the, gra the ground attack is the main problem right now. Because I just- I don't know what the answer to it is because everything I've tried didn't work. And it's that weird thing where- it, the game isn't telling me what I'm doing wrong, so sans just trial and error. There's no way for me to know r really if I, what I'm doing was right, if what I, and I just just getting unlucky or what. So I kind of just have to keep trying things, I guess. I suppose I'll try to jump that some more just to see if that is the answer, but the answer may just be get far away when that happens. Easy peasy. No. Okay, once we see the arms go down, that is the timing for that garbage. Oh god. Yeah, I... I knew I couldn't get away, so I was like, let me just try to dodge roll it. I, I should have just tried jumping, I guess. I don't know. It... I did get punished a lot when I was trying to do the jump, but... It might just be a tighter window than I think. Because that was totally how we handled the, um, the Margit version of that attack. It was absolutely how that one worked. As long as you weren't on the ground, you didn't take damage. Ah, uh, you got me there. You got me there. I was moving back to heal. That one was just a bad run. I wasn't performing super well. Okay, that was a very, very good thing to learn. I can really, really get a lot of damage on you during that phase change if I successfully dodge the uh, shockwave. Alright. Come at me. Nope. Get the jump attacks are really, really good. Okay. Get up. Jump. 
no, we still get hit. It's like flame geysers just mess me up. Uh-huh. Owie. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay, that was the, <laughs> that was the grab. All right, I think we're dead. Unless I get some very good dodges, no. Yeah. Yeah, so when the phase change happens to the phase where you're glowing with Super Saiyan energy or whatever, um, when that phase change happens, I can get a bunch of damage on you if I just, if I just dodge through the shockwave and rush you down. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm also using the jump attack a lot more, so I think I just want to switch to the claw talisman. I want to see how much of a difference it makes. Um... Because the I can get a jump attack in after a lot of combos that I dodge, so uh, getting that extra damage in just seems like it'll be helpful. You can really tell that I just enjoy this fight way more than my experience with Malaketh. Um, it's just less infuriating and more just fun. Every single time something happens to me, I'm like, yeah, that was my fault. Are you just gonna stand here or what? Ah, I didn't get my dodge off there. Rough. Did not get my dodge off. Godfrey, I just wanted to say I'm really, really enjoying our time together. You know? It's very, very fun. And I hope you're having a good time, too. Okay, so he actually faces the, like, weird shockwave in a direction during this phase. Like, it's basically one line instead of uh, just all around. Oh god. Uh -uh. Let's take the opportunity to heal and get some swings in, I guess. Okay, there we go. Next phase, gotta scratch my face a little bit, so thank you, Sirash, for sacrificing yourself. There we go. All right, as soon as the hands go down, yep, boom. Ooh. Yes, we broke your poise. Oh, how dare you have iframes. Okay, this is uh, where I'm super dead. Yeah. What do I do to that? I guess I should just get the hell out of dodge whenever you do that. I guess I should just get the hell out of dodge unless I get really, really good at the roll timing for that. I just need to get the hell out of there whenever that happens. Because uh, you're you're messing me up. I'm really happy I got the... I actually broke your... Uh, that wasn't even a poise break. That was like a stance break. Where you fall down and I can get a crit. So that was because of my enhanced uh, jump attacks for sure. Alright, here we go. Uh, go ahead and get my stabby stab there. Ow. That was risky. Uh, oh, you caught me with the hand. A crown is warranted with strength. I'm sorry, Hora. I, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I know your daughter. I think it was your daughter, Nefeli. I guess she's still over there talking about her Stormhawk Ash, huh? Even as I'm over here murdering dad. All right, here we are again. Okay, you can just kind of back up against that and be fine. Weirdly. Get out of there. Okay, you don't... You didn't do it that time? Weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought you were punching me. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Oh god, get out of there. Heal. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Heal. Uh-huh. Owie. Okay, back up. Hit. Ah, that attack, dude. It's so hard to dodge. Uh-huh. Heal. Cool. Ah, the stupid roar. Stop with your beast roar. 
Ow. Okay, that was not a safe attack. Ow, you just yeeted me. Uh-huh. I'm really catching your hands right now. Okay. Yeah, I just need more experience with this phase. All right. Hands go down. Boom. Uh-huh. Ow. The yeet. All right, I'm gonna heal off of that. Boom. Ah. Uh, wasn't safe. Ow, seriously? That continues for that long? Oh, I'm so fucked. Yeah. I just don't know what to do to that attack. <laughs> I have no counter for it. If I was using a shield, I probably would, but... I don't know. I, I like the, the heavy dodge build I have going on right now. It's fun. Also just makes the fight go by faster. It's less safe, but it's faster. And when I'm sitting here doing this time, time, time again, I'd rather it be faster and me just get the timings down. I feel pretty good about most of them, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, I can pretty consistently dodge a lot of your attacks now, and I know exactly when to get the hits in. So it's really just down to putting all that together into something that works. How the hell did that attack not hit? Very, very confused about that one. Ah. Sucks when I uh, only get one hit off of that. Okay. This is the spooky. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just run. It's just run. That's what you do there. Okay. Yeah, I rolled way too early on that. Ow. Those do so much damage. Okay, let's... Sip while you roar. Uh-huh. Okay, I didn't expect the kick. Honestly, it's just weird fighting a FromSoft enemy that actually kicks. Like, using their feet? They don't do that a lot. Yeah, that thing has a delayed hitbox. I'm so dead. Yeah, there was nothing for me to do there. Um, yeah, it's just... So often in FromSoft games, I never expect something to actually kick me. So, having to pay attention to your foot because you're like... a fucking kickboxer or something... is just weird for me. I'm not used to that. I'm used to paying attention to whatever's in your hands. Or if you're like a really, really big enemy, your body parts. But it's not often I've fought an enemy that just like kicked me in the face. Which is what you do. Ah, rolled at the wrong time. Owie. Okay, yeah, I deserve that one. You really just gotta watch his uh, foot. Because the, the hitbox, like, the exact time you have to dodge is when his foot is about to connect with the ground. That is the exact time to dodge that shockwave. Maybe we should start going for faster attacks on you. God, stupid sips, man. They will always get me killed. They take so long to go off. <laughs> I'm of the opinion that the Tarnish just doesn't know how to swallow. Tarnish just gets the liquid in their mouth and they're like, they just start like gargling it or something before they actually swallow it. All right, you know what? How about, how about we start messing around with some runes, huh? We haven't really used runes this entire damn game. Um, I'm being pretty, uh... I'm being pretty aggressive, so how about we go with attacks recover HP after damage is taken? That way I don't have to worry about backing up to heal as much. And let's go ahead and pop a rune arc. I have 49 of these stupid things. Let's just use them. Let's just use them. My Estus will heal less, but I have Bloodborne healing, which will, uh, be pretty cool. I'll try to show it when it, uh, goes off in this fight. But I don't get hit very often at the beginning, so... Aha! Now I have the gray health! Alright, third phase. 
There it is. Uh huh. Owie. Okay, we're good. Get out of there. Get out of there, I said. Okay, yeah, no, I'm I'm super bones. <laughs> I tried though. That that rune seems pretty good. The only problem is it doesn't heal a ton. It doesn't really heal that much. Is the only issue. I would say. It's it mostly mostly because it doesn't actually heal off of like bleed and frost damage. It's off of my actual weapon damage. And my weapon damage is not very high, so let, let's take that off. I, I don't think that one's for me. I am staying aggressive a lot of the time, but I just don't do enough damage fast enough to have it be super worth it, I guess. The only problem is I don't know which one would be better. Raise all attributes? No. HP, FP, and stamina, or greatly raises maximum HP. I'm kind of interested in just greatly raising my max HP. I just want enormous health bar. That is what I covet. So, what does that look like? Oh my goodness, golly gracious. Look at that, look at that health bar. Look at that thing go. Um, I've been relying on the, the jump attacks a lot. Maybe I should switch to something else. I could put I could put this on to have an even chunkier health bar. Oh, absurd! Absurd! Of stupid health bar! Look at this thing. You know, let, let's see how I feel about it for a little bit. I can still do jump attacks; they just won't do as much damage. I don't know. Maybe I should go back to just doing light attacks. All right, big heal. Whoa. Uh, heal, please. Okay, you tried to get the kick, but it didn't work out for you. Oh god, that's a grab. Again! Two times in a row, you command grab spammer. Look at you. How dare you? Is this the... Yep, this is the attack. There we go. Let's heal up a little bit, just to get that little bit of extra there. I can't believe that missed. Okay, I was... Yeah, when you when you put your arms to the side like that, I gotta keep in mind that that's the one where you're... taking 60 years. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, yep. Really, really delayed. How did you slow yourself down mid-dash? How does that work, Aura? How does that work, Mr. Lou? <laughs> How do you slow your velocity down mid-dash? How is that even possible? <laughs> that doesn't work, sir. I do think I'm going to take this back off and put the jump attack thing back on. I didn't like swinging with the baby attacks as much. The jump attack, I've just gotten too used to it now, and it is quite good. Ooh, you actually managed to clip me there. Ah, you got me. Yeah, I thought I was out of the range, so I just started walking, but uh, I was still in range for the giant shockwave. It always makes me feel so bad. Um, I've heard this is a pretty common thing for a lot of people, but uh, when like one of your first or second runs, when you have no idea what the absolute hell you're doing, uh, does really, really well, and then you just, you, you can't bottle that energy again. You just can't. Your body, something happens with your body and your mind and your reflexes that are like, no, we, we can't have that same level of greatness again. It always feels so bad when it happens, when I get so close early and just choke. Okay, we skipped the second phase. That's always nice. Oh, rolled way too early. Yeah, I'm just really, really bad at this. What the fuck happened to my- <laughs> what? Lock on, please? Where did you go? Uh, 
Uh-huh. Sip again. Okay, get out of there. Run, 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 run. Okay. We can get a heal out of this. Oh, way too early. God, I just... I... I can't get the timing down for that. It's so hard for me. I don't know why. It's so hard, and I have no idea why. jumped way too early. Yeah, that was my bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just not, I'm just not performing like I should now. I think I should step away for a second, grab something to drink, maybe a little snack. Because I'm just, I'm definitely at that point where my, my body just isn't keeping up anymore. back. I've had pecans and some snacks. And it didn't save me from that kick, it didn't. Ah. Uh, tarnished, you stupid, stupid prick. Can't she just, like, be useful at healing for once? Ah. It's so hard to tell what's a punch and what's a grab when you are using your fist. That's the main problem for me. Oh my god, you waited so long. Heal. Uh-uh. Stay the hell away from me. No. No, you don't. Uh-uh. Bad horror loop. Don't roar. You and your stupid roar. That was an, an opportunity. 
opportunity to attack. Uh-huh. Oh, that was the stomp. Uh-huh. I really would like to heal here, but I don't know if I'll get the... Okay, there we go. Ah, the stupid roar. I got greedy. There we go. Oh, right, dick right in the face. Okay, there we go. Apparently, I was just malnourished. That was the problem. I went into the kitchen, grabbed a few pecans, came back. Easy. Remember, make sure to stay hydrated and eat. And when you're slaying gods with a turtle shell on your back. Alright, let's put my other stupid stuff back on, why don't we? Uh, back to- back to the normal gear. Yeah, maybe I should- maybe I should have just went and gotten a snack earlier. Might have, uh, made the experience a little bit easier for me, but that was really fun. That was really, really fun. There was no point during that entire thing where I was frustrated. All of it was me. It was a me problem. I never felt like I got bullshitted in any way. The grab- the grab timings are a little bit rude. But not absurdly so. It's it's mostly just rude because it's not what I expect. I did do that with a rune arc, of course. Which probably saved my ass at least once. But, uh... Whatever. So, what can we get from, uh... Our good friend Lou. Can I call you Lou? Well, well he's dead now, so I guess there's... I will go see what Nefeli has to say about this. But, uh, let's- let's go check you out. I love that we finally got a boss- well, there might have been other bosses that use fist weapons, but I can't remember them at the moment. Okay. Oh, cool, I can get your dumb little thing. The, uh, the, like, fist slam. Weapon of Godfrey, Elden Lord. It was broken in a battle fought as leader of the Tarnish during the Long March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord, later becoming an emblem of the Golden Lineage. In the days of the past, a crown was warranted with strength. Yeah, I was actually thinking it was a halberd, not an axe. So that's interesting. It actually used to be a double-bladed full moon axe, but half of it broke off. What a cool design. It's basically just turned into a halberd now. Let loose a mighty war cry, raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against by stomping the ground. While active, strong attacks become a lunging slash. And Hora lose Earthshaker. Slam both hands into the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. Uh, I do have something to say about this. Uh, or is it this? I, it's this, it's this, this weapon. Destined Death. Um, apparently this weapon is absurdly busted. Um, I have heard people say... I've heard people say with a spirit they killed Melania in like a few seconds because them and the spirit were just spamming the weapon skill. Which is kind of hilarious to me. Um, I did look at the... yeah. So we've looked at all of these things. I might just consume them all and... Yeah, let's, let's just... Sorry, Rock Goddess. Oh, hey, 50k for you. How nice. What about you, Malaketh? Who's the biggest one here? Okay, Malaketh confirmed weaker than, uh... Uh, Melania. Okay, Horalu as well. I, I think it's funny because it actually took me more attempts on Horalu, but I wasn't using my spirit. If I had been using my spirit on that boss... I probably would have beat that boss on, like, the second or third try, if I'm going to be honest. With the spirit, it would have been crazy easy. Boom. Alright. But I had a- I had a fun time doing it. That was not me forcing myself to do it the hard way because my difficulty. That was just me being like, hey, this is fun. I enjoy this. Alright, so... I- oh yeah, Nefeli. Gotta go talk to Nefeli. Um, I actually don't know how long this episode's been going now. Because... A frankly absurd of it has an absurd amount of it has been cut out. I could end it here, but I do have a lot of spare time tonight, and I'm I kind of want to keep playing, so 
I'm going to keep playing. Hopefully this doesn't become a absurdly long episode. There was so much of that, those fights that needed to be cut out, so I don't think so. And this ash, it reminds me. Okay, you don't even care that I killed your dad. Gotcha, gotcha. You just really, really like birds. Cool, cool. All right, Elden Throne. This feels like it might be it. Um, credits did not roll after that boss fight, so it does mean we have more. Uh, so we might have another area up here, or we could just be walking into another boss fight. I don't know which. I don't know what to expect. Let's let's just see what happens, shall we? Hello. We should be able to pass this now. Time for help me, uh, Elden Ring. Touch the golden light. Marka, that you? Getting prepped here. All right, let's go. This looks like we all rat again. Oh, I saw. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, that was way too much rolling. Uh huh. I really need to get my stamina back here. There we go. Owie. I've become too reliant on rolling now. Maybe I should just ditch the shield. Because, uh, yeah, I've gotten way too used to rolling. Oh, okay. Ow. Radigan, please calm down, okay? Okay, how about some of this? What was that? Okay. Wee, ouchie, my bones. Ah. Okay, we got we got some stuff to get used to here, for sure. Luckily, you give me a bit more time to recover. Uh huh. There we go. Uh. Okay. Well, that was a thing that just happened. Okay, get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing some stuff. Uh, I need to get back to my. I was gonna. T I forgot to take my flask. Ow. Well, that's just rude. How come you get to animate teleport, Radigan? Why can't I animate teleport? Maybe that's what my your weapon will let me do. Uh huh. That was a bunch of, bunch of damage I just got. Yeah. Ah, okay, we got clips. You'll let me heal, right? No, you won't. No, quit that. Ooh, okay. 
Big knockback. Stop shooting your stuff at me. Please. I liked- I liked Godfrey more. Godfrey just punched me really cool-like and did wrestling moves on me. You're- you're doing a bunch of holy stuff, you nerd. Uh-huh. Whoop. Heal. I thought I would need to do it. Ooh, okay. Good dodge. We can sip this. Okay, well, we just need to not take damage now, so let's just let's just two-hand it and get in there. Come on at me, dork. Okay. 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 Well, yeah. Alrighty. Well, I I am sure this boss has two phases. That wasn't a horrible for a first attempt, I guess. It is really, really easy to take damage. Maybe I should just rush you down with the dual wielding again. Maybe I should just ditch my big dumb armor. We weren't really doing jump attacks there. Hmm. I was doing guard counters a lot. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's try to stick to the shield. And just utilize guard counters a little bit more, why don't we? This is something cool about Elden Ring. I can just kind of change my build if I want to on the fly like that. Since you are specifically using magic, though, it might be- it might be best just to, you know, dodge you a bunch. Let's, uh... No, this is only my second attempt. We shouldn't waste some runes on this. It would be cool to just straight up finish the game today. Have both of the final... Well, I don't know if you're the final boss. That's the problem. I- I'm willing to bet you're not. Right? Okay, do we get- do we really gotta watch that every time? Hello. Uh huh. Jump attack. Owie. Let's heal. Oh, that was the wrong one, but whatever. Okay. Way too, way too late on the things there. Wow, that that's a badass attack. I'm not even mad. You like hammered me like I was an anvil. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you just might be the final one I need to fight, basically. Um, before... I don't know, maybe you are the... I kind of thought Marika was going to be the final boss. I don't know, maybe that's the, uh... Maybe that's the incorrect assumption. The shield does seem pretty useful against you. Do I have something that's, like, crazy resistant to holy? Because that would be ideal. I mean, this is 65. We're probably not going to find much better than that. Yeah, no, we, we're not going to get any better than that. Okay. Well, let's just keep, let's just uh, keep going in here and giving it a good college try. I wish we didn't have to watch this every time. Just put me into the boss fight. Make it a normal fog door. From soft, come on. I gotta get into the battle. Get that initial free hit there. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Get that stamina back up. All right. Good dodge. Okay, now you're starting to do that stuff. Uh-huh. Dang. Alright. Whoops. Ooh, we knocked you down, friends. Boom. Okay, that's an opportunity to heal. Guard counters OP. Uh-huh. Owie. Ooh. Okay, managed to dodge it. Heal. Uh-huh. Nope. Alright. Ah, uh, you got me. I rolled like a second too late. 
Okay, my bad. My bad, Radigan. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Get at it. There. Oh, hey, we're alive. Nuts. Uh huh. Howie. Heal. Okay. Not super hard to dodge there. Really? Really, jackass? My god. Okay, that's not it, though. You're not dead. Don't even- don't even try. Don't even try, you big doofus. I know that's not it. Wow, uh, LP over. I can't kill this thing. It's too pretty. Oh, why did I just drink? All right, what are you all about? Uh, okay. I, where is the hitbox? I don't even know. Uh-huh. I guess this, yeah. Okay, that's a hitbox. Uh, what is happening? Uh, okay. Not really sure what that was, but, uh... Uh-huh. I, quite frankly, can't really see much. Going to be honest. Seems like the shield helps a lot against this boss, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. God, I just, like, can't see what's happening most of the time. Uh-huh. Under the water, you say. Okay. Are you coming at me? No, you're too far away. Alright, hello. Uh, that's the one that hurts a lot, I th think this is gonna hurt. I think this is pain. Oh god, get out of there. Okay. Huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's what happens when that whole thing goes on. That is fire. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, Jesus. Yep, just, just, just keep running. All right, we're good. Hit you in the butt now. Okay. I mean... Honestly, not too much you do that's crazy scary yet, if I'm going to be honest. I think if I had summoned my spirit this fight, we probably would have already won. Did I summon my spirit just for funsies? I don't know, I did all the other bosses solo. Maybe, maybe I deserve it. We've also seen a pretty good amount of this boss now as well. I don't know. Maybe I deserve it, you know? Maybe, just maybe. Oh god, not this one. Run, run, run. Don't get hit in the butt. Don't get hit in the tuchus. 
Oh god, what's happening? What's happening? I didn't know what was going on. You know what? I'm gonna summon the spirit. I got one flask left. If I can pull it off with one flask, I feel like that's deserved. Ow. All right. Get in here, Mimic Tear. Oh god. Uh, okay, they're all attacking Mimics here. All right, get in there. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I, we might be able to do it. Let's play it safe, though. Don't get cocky. Uh, okay, you're going under. Ooh, those things are coming behind me. What is this thing doing? I kind of despise it. Okay. Okay, can we- can we not? What is going on here? Jesus Christ! What is happening? <laughs> Fucking hell! Fairies are just attacking me from everywhere. Okay. That was a weird one. Just run, because yeah, it's targeting me. Ow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got any more? Okay. No. Oh god, get out of there. Alright. Slashy, slashy. I can't really bleed you, so the, um... The whatchamacallit isn't really seeing much use. The frost and bleed damage in this particular fight. Uh-huh. We're kinda doing it, though. Okay, these are the... Slashy? Okay, no, those weren't the... Those weren't the crazy slashies. Oh god, what is it? Okay, wait, this is this one. Roll away. Get out of there, Mimic Tear. He doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't know any better. Oh god, yep, we're buns. Ow, yeah. <laughs> okay, pretty, pretty close, though. Um... I think we can do it. Quite frankly, neither of these are really that hard. Uh, I kind of rushed Radigan down there. The shield seems way more useful in this fight than it did against uh, Godfrey. I think I can do it, and I think I'm going to allow myself the spirit this time, just in the second phase. I'll, I'll beat Radigan solo, but the spirit, I, I, think, I think I'll use the spirit there in the second phase. If I had used it earlier, I straight up would have won there, so... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. It, it, like I said, it doesn't seem like a particularly hard fight. I would just sit here and, you know, be, be bashing my head against it for a bit. You, though, are not too bad. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're not too bad for the most part, Radigan. Like that can be annoying, but uh, for the most part, yeah, you're pretty chill. Uh-huh. Yeah, get out of there. Oop, okay, I rolled into that. I'll be honest. Whoop. All right, come at me some more. Uh-huh, heal. No. Owie. Oh yeah, that's the explodey one. Can you not, friend? Thank you. Give me the opportunity to heal. Yeah, you are kind of a joke compared to, uh, Godfrey. Sorry, Radigan, if that makes you mad. Oh, it's so stupid that your blink does damage. Okay, heal. There we are. Hey, friends. Okay, good dodge. Get some free damage out of that. Okay. The guard counter's not as useful when you do that. Owie. 
Can I heal, friends? Out. Wow! Seriously? The late explosion there? Uh-huh. Ooh, ow. Okay. Alright, good dodge. Okay, that was a bad counter. Whoop. There we go. Let's sip. Yeah, that, that was sloppy. I'll be the first to admit it. I also think this fight's just really long. That's the other reason I think I want to summon my spirit. Yeah, 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 you're dead, you're dead. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's get in there on Elden Beast and see what we can do. Uh-huh. Slashy, slashy. Okay, yeah. We should definitely dual wield when we get in there like that. That's definitely the best call. I like how this is a remix of the uh, title screen music. Ow. You supernova'd me. Okay. Uh-huh. Out of there. Yeah, Mimic Tears having a rough time of it. Bang, bang. Yeah, there we go, just wail. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Cute, cute. God, you're such a pretty design for a boss. It's kind of nuts, just how beautiful you are. No. None of that. The guard counter is also absolutely useless against you. That's, uh, something else I should keep in mind. Not seeing a whole lot of use out of the guard counter here, so maybe I should switch my talismans after Radigan. Just, what just a beautiful boss, though. I gotta say, it's just so damn pretty. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what is it? But I'm like, wow is it pretty, though. Okay, you're hitting behind me. Cool. Uh, okay, this is this thing. Let's run. Oh, okay, we're already out of there. Yeah, no, 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 we're fine. Okay. Okay, get out of the way of those. Mimic Chan is taking some hits, I would say. But all in all, I think we're good. Yeah, this is just a crazy long fight. It is very, very long. Just because you run away a bunch, so I don't really get a lot of uh, good opportunities to hit you. I think the jump attack one would be more useful here. Or the one that increases my damage the more I swing. Uh, the Melania one. That one could be pretty good as well. As long as you don't do that one crazy attack you used that one time that just started firing, like, a bunch of bullshit at me. I think that's literally the one that's happening right now. Oh, no, that was the supernova. Okay. Yeah, getting through the Radigan fight with more HP would also just increase my, uh, survivability. Uh-huh. I have one flask left. Luckily, your attacks are super crazy easy to dodge. Uh-huh. Bing. Oh, God. What is this? Is this that thing? Oh, God, it is. Yep. I don't know what to do for this besides just roll constantly. Like, what, 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 what? Oh. Okay, maybe I just keep an eye on that and stay away from it. Okay, I think my Mimic died. Yeah, no, it's just me now. That attack is just so absurdly confusing to me. I, I don't have any earthly idea what I'm supposed to do there. 
The thing just kind of flies around and spews particles all over the place. All right, come here, you big doofus. Come here, you. Yeah, you just get so few opportunities to actually attack the damn thing. Uh, yeah, we're super dead. In case you were wondering. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, that was nuts. Excuse me while I wail on you some more. Maybe I'll use my spirit on Radigan to just uh, make it easier. Uh, whoop, yeah, that actually does hurt me or kind of knock me back. Howie. Okay, I didn't get out fast enough. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll use the spirit on Radigan just to get through that fight faster and then get to this one because. Honestly, most of this one's like playing a basketball game. You're just running back and forth across the court <laughs> to get back to it. I'll go ahead and use a rune arc too. Because I, I do think we can finish today. This might be an absurdly long episode, but... I, people that have watched me know sometimes I just decide I'm going to do an absurdly long final episode to uh, finish things off. Okay, so guard counters, they're useful against you, but not so much... Um, they're useful against Radigan, but not so much the Beast. I think this is it. I mean, I'm inside the Elden... The, the, the Erd Tree. I almost called it the Elden Tree. We're in here. We're doing it. This might be the end to my longest LP ever. Coming up here. Alright. Alright, Radigan. Let's go, friend. We've done this song and dance before, just the two of us. Now I brought a friend. Now it's a thruple. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think this will just save so many of my flasks. Not having to deal with you using all of them up. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I thought I had my, uh, four frost stomp on too. Okay, it was a little bit late there, but it worked out for me. Trying to break your poise. It's not working out for me. Okay. Wow. Mimic grabbed no aggro there. That was that was just me being stupid. <laughs> that was 100% just me being stupid. Yeah. Okay. That that was that was just me being dumb. I thought Mimic Kun would have had the aggro there so I could back up to heal because. I was pretty sure Mimikun was just wailing on Radigan's asshole, but uh, apparently not. Okay. Like I said, I, I think we've got this. I'll uh, maybe start skipping the beginning parts of Radigan here. These just aren't... These, these fights just... They're visually very cool, but don't have as much interesting stuff to offer as um, Godfrey and stuff did. So... Alright, I did not save very many of my heals. I kind of got super, super messed up, but we're gonna try it anyway. See what we can do here. Mimic is dead. For sure. I'm trying to see where the hell I'm going here. Okay, we managed to make it out. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I think Melania's uh, thing may be better for this because a lot of the attacks I get are like, you know, a bunch of combos because you're not the fastest enemy. Yeah, it just sucks to keep getting so close. I should have just summoned my spirit the first time instead of you know. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I think using Melania's thing here, for example, would drastically increase my damage output. 
to the point where uh, I can probably do it. Uh, none of that, please. No. Stay still. Stay still so I can murder you. Uh-oh. Oh god, this is the thing. This is the thing. Where is it at? It's over there. It's following me. There's multiple- oh. Oh, you did the- you did the artillery strike. <laughs> okay, maybe I should go back to fighting Radigan and then summoning the spirit on the second attempt, cause, uh... Uh, yeah, that didn't go super well. Alright, that was a much, much better attempt. That's Radigan down. I have 11 flasks. I think this will go better. The, uh... Melania Talisman seems to be doing some work for me. Let's get in here. Oh god, this is fire. I- Camera? What the absolute fuck did you just do? Why did you do a 360? This is not Tony Hawk. Quit it. It's so hard to even tell what's happening. But we're wailing. We're doing it. All right, come back here, you big, you big, beautiful, beautiful thing, you. Okay, wait, this is the spook. This is the spook. We gotta get, uh, out of here. Uh-huh. Okay, I think we're safely out of the zone. Unfortunately, Mimic Coon was not. Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Get in there. Get you in the butt. There we are. Gotta make use of Mimic while Mimic is still alive. Okay, here's the artillery fire. Luckily it's coming after me, because it probably would have killed Mimic. Uh, oh god, not that stupid thing. I hate that stupid thing. God, you have to cover so much distance in this fight. Just to catch back up to the thing. Okay, nailed it. Uh, get in there. Poke that tummy. Okay, yeah, no, slash. Slash, screw it. Oh god! I couldn't see what attack you were doing. <laughs> I couldn't see what attack you were doing, so I didn't actually know it was that one, and I needed to run. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see tells on a boss that is so large, huh? That, uh, that creates issues, I would say. <laughs> it's just hard to keep up with where the hell it is and what it's doing. Feels like I should be able to use Torrent in that fight because of how far I have to run just to get back to the thing. I have to- I have to go on an eight mile sprint just to get back to it. Okay, this is- this is the artillery. Watch out. When it glows like that, that's the tell. That's how you know. I was just so up in its grill last time that I could not see that. I want you to use this attack more. That one's absurdly easy to dodge. Alright, it's at half HP now. I think it just got a grab on my Mimic, and that gave me the opportunity to run! Yes, it gave me the opportunity to run. Exactly. Oh god, not this stupid shit. I hate this! My, my, my least favorite thing that you do is you just throw a little wisp to fire garbage at me. Quit it! Quit <laughs> it! It's so annoying, and I don't know how to get away from the damn thing. Just gotta wait for it to disappear. Uh... Big swings. Uh-huh. Whoop. Whoop, okay. Okay, what are we doing? Alright, you're landing? Cool. Thank you for deciding to let me play the video game. Uh-huh. 
Let's heal up for safety. I have nine of them and it has no HP left. So... Oh, okay, here's the ring of death. The orange ring of death, here it comes. Yep. Not the red ring, don't get it twisted. Okay, you, you're deciding to go after Mimic. That's fine. I think this is it. Yeah, this is just such a absurdly long boss fight. Oh, you gotta... Oh. Well, that's rude. Okay, I, I seem to have tanked it at least. Get the fuck up, character. We cannot die when we're this close, please. I would cry. This fight is so long. Oh my god. If there's anything I dislike about the boss design in Elden Ring, it's the ones that just run away from you. Like, that's their whole thing. They're just like, I'm just going to keep running away. There we go. <laughs> Out of here. You look pretty, but not my favorite fight. You do look really gorgeous, though. Whew, 500,000, eh? Elden Remembrance. Oh, I wanted to look at it. Oh, okay, we get an opportunity. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought for a second the corpse of Radigan or whoever over here was dabbing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. Remembrance of the Elden Beast, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternately, it can be used to get a great bounty of runes. It was the vassal beast of the greater will and living incarnation of the concept of order. We attack and we attacked and dethroned God, basically, is what the game is telling us right now. Yeah, I don't feel bad for using the spirit against that one. If it's a cool fast fight, like um, like Melania and um, uh, stuff like that. Of course, I did use my spirit against Melania, but if it's a cool fast fight like Malekith and um, Godfrey, I'm like, nah, 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 screw the, screw, screw the spirit. I want to be able to do it myself and have fun. But when it's like a, even if it was just Radigan, I would have fought Radigan without the spirit, um, especially since he was so easy. But um, that thing just runs away constantly. So, so much of the fight is just being like, okay, I, I gotta go catch back up to it now. <laughs> but it looks damn pretty. I will give it that. All right, so we got... Oh yeah, I didn't see Malekith's helm in here last time. We, we can... <laughs> Confirmed! Godfrey wore a wig! Look, right here you can see it. <laughs> Crown of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The Age of the Earth Tree began amongst conflict when Godfrey was the lord of the battlefield. He led the war against the giants, faced the Storm Lord alone. And then there came a moment when his last worthy enemy fell, and it was then, as the story told, that the hue of Lord Godfrey's eyes faded. Yeah, you got bored because you didn't have any crazy people to fight anymore. And then I came in and clawed all over your ass. Okay, I, yeah, I don't think we read this either. Malekith, Queen Marika's loyal half-brother, bore a blade imbued with destined death. And there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew what was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. Cool. Alright, I think that's all I really want to see there. Let's see what we can get for this. Marika's hammer, that's what that was. A stone hammer made in the lands of the Newman, outside the lands between. The tool with which Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radigan attempted to repair it. The hammer partially broke upon shattering the ring, becoming splintered with rune fragments. Someone actually told me the Newman. If I'm remembering this correctly, I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. But I'm pretty sure someone told me in the comment that the Newman are actually whatever ethnicity, race, species, whatever you you want to you would call um, Marika. I don't know, if, or not not Marika, um, Melania. I don't know if that's correct or not. I might be misremembering. I'm sorry if I am. Maybe we can do a quick little lore dive for the end of this episode, huh? Let's go see what a Newman is. Newman. I've, I mean, I beat the game now, so I can't spoil myself. I can watch all the LPs I want of this game now. I've been waiting. Uh, race of beings descended from the uh, from otherworldly travelers, long lived and seldom born. Queen Marika the Eternal is the primary rem member of this race. Oh yeah, and we could have picked one of these as our starting, um, 
our starting race. So yeah, Marika, Godwin, Radigan, Malekith. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. These are just other things. They're not also Newman. So I'm guessing everyone with red hair is at least part Newman. Okay, yeah, and that's one of the that's one of the classes or races we could have picked at the beginning. Sword wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal. Thoughts on what the weapon portends are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of a great sin, or a sin of great devastation. Some think it is, some think it as the end of an age, while others the beginning. Imbue the sword with bygone golden glory, then fire it at foes. A wide golden wave fans out forwards, sweeping through all enemies caught in the path. All right. Well, there we go. Um, how how much how much does God's pet? Because you weren't actually God, you were God's pet. How much does God's pet give us? Fifty k. Okay, the same amount as Melania. Let's go level up for the for the next boss fight, everyone. What what levels do we want? What levels do we? Let's let's get some dexterity. I want to be able to do that extra three damage on this final boss fight encounter. It's going to be kind of integral to my strategy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Where the hell was that? This one. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. This 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 is fractured Marika. This is not Radigan. Stone platform. Yeah, that certainly is what it what it is. First off, well done. Thank you. Yeah, I thought you were dabbing, because I saw your arm out like that. Ah, uh, Fort Knight ahead. No, I don't think it is. Seek God. I can't take this. Okay, what does this message say? It's special. Summon Ronnie. Okay, so I do have the option for the Ronnie ending, or the Fia ending. I'm... I kind of like Ronnie. Let's summon Ronnie. I did it, Queen. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. My fair consort eternal. Oh man, we hooked up with Ronnie. Okay. <laughs> Darkness. Loneliness, the age of stars. I mean, I can't really be mad about an age of darkness and stars. I, I like both of those things. 
Okay, that is Elden Ring, the longest LP I've ever done. And if you have made it this far, you have put up with like 90 hours of an idiot walking past things and talking about stupid shit and getting angry, so... Wow. You're patient. So, thank you for that, I suppose. It's kind of insane to me that anyone would want to watch me play something for this long, but... Thank you for making it to this point, I guess. So, yeah, this was really, really, really fun. Um, when I knew Elden Ring was releasing, I knew I had to play it. It was kind of required. I didn't know how many people were going to watch it because everyone and their mother and their mother's ancestors as ghosts were going to be playing Elden Ring. It was going to be absolutely sw like just swarmed on YouTube, so I was like, no one's going to watch this, but I don't care. I want to play it, damn it. And it was really fun. Um, I do think it's a little long. Um, I obviously like some bosses more than others. Um, I definitely, in this one, aside from a few, I definitely liked the humanoid bosses more. The ones that were, like, massive, like Elden Beast and, um, the Arch Dragon and, uh, the Ulcerated Tree Spirit. There's just a lot of visual noise. You can't really see what's going on as much so it's harder to keep track of them and where they are and what they're doing so I, I don't like those as much I definitely like the one-on-one -on -one cool battles quite frankly Melania and I really didn't expect to like Godfrey as much as I did Godfrey's fight was awesome I did not expect that at all I thought Melania was going to be it that's the coolest fight in the game go home but it was not the case at all, because Godfrey walks up and is like, I'm going to pile drive you, and I'm going to suplex you, and I'm going to kick you in the air and knock you back down, and just... All sorts of just awesome, awesome things. Um, I think... Margit was a pretty good fight. If I had to pick, like, the most eh... human fight, I would probably say Godric. That one was just kind of eh. And there was a lot of visual noise with that fight, of course, as well, but... Most of the human fights felt very, very fair. Like, Godfrey felt fair, Radigan felt fair, Elden Beasts felt iffy at times, Malaketh felt iffy at times, um, just because of the jumping around and everything. But, um, I don't like how much the big bosses lean on... Okay, I'm gonna jump to the other side of the field and you now have to run at me. I don't like that part about those. All of them were very cool visually, but I did not like that part of them. Uh, I am s happy that I kind of limited my use of the spirit, and uh, quite frankly, I'm not even really sure how much less powerful the claws were than Moonvale. They seemed pretty busted as well, <laughs> to be honest. So I don't know if switching off Moonvale really did anything, but it, it allowed me to pursue a more interesting build, I think. I, I had more fun doing that. Um, I, at some point I just got bored of Moonvale, but I was still using it because it was so good. But then I was like, eh, I, I want to switch up my build. So we switched it up after seeing how much we absolutely devastated our poor friend Moog, who I can't even really give a good review of the boss fight for because poor, poor guy went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Oh, rest in peace, Moog. Greatest, greatest loss of the game. That and Patches, I guess, because I didn't get to see Patches. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Patches. I'm guessing I just didn't get there fast enough. <clears throat> um, if I had gotten there sooner, maybe we could have started a quest line for Patches. Patches would have moved around the map like a lot of other people. And we would have gotten to do some things with him then, but... Yeah, I mean, stuff happens. I can't find everything in these games. And... <clears throat> One thing I will say, I gotta give props to the comments on this one, because the other fear starting a Souls game... I know I'm a small creator and everything, but the other fear with starting a Souls game is people are just going to be mean, or rude, or say I'm doing this wrong, or I'm doing that wrong, or I miss that, or I miss this. Everybody watching this was fantastic in the comments, helping me out when I needed it, giving me little tips here and there, and no one was mean or rude to me, which is fantastic. I 
I expected when I started playing this that I would maybe get some people, and I, I might the future, to be fair. And at some points, maybe I even deserve it a little bit, but... Everyone was very, very cool. I, I never dreaded looking at the Elden Ring comments. Um, it was very... nice to be able to do that. It, it definitely took some of the stress off of me while I was playing. I could basically just walk around and do whatever dumb shit I wanted and know that everyone watching was probably going to roll their eyes at me, but otherwise wouldn't be mean, so that was fun. That was cool. It was just nice to interact with everyone, especially on a game this long. So, yeah, I can't really say, I can't really say enough good about the comments and everyone that watched. It was fantastic, fantastic, fantastic doing this journey. And once again, just thank you if you made it to this point. As far as other things I can review about the game, because these credits are still going on for a while, I do have a lot to say. I mean, it's once again probably my longest LP. I think the time came in at around 90 hours. Bravely Default may have been longer than that. I want to say Bravely Default took me 100. Bravely Default 2. So Elden Ring may have been beaten by Bravely Default 2. I'm not sure. Uh, I definitely think Elden Ring beat, beat Tales of Arise. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it was a fun time. I really, really had a good time with this. There's tons of stuff I missed, but... I, I feel like unless someone just ended this game absolutely loving every second of it, there's no way anyone could warrant doing a second playthrough of this. Unless it's like the only game you have and you're like, well, I guess I'm going to start up another Elden Ring playthrough. Um, if I did do another playthrough, I would probably do a Faith one. Because a lot of the Faith things in this seemed way cooler than the Intelligence ones. I, I specced into Intelligence and then didn't end up using magic at all, which is like, whatever. But by the time I felt like I could get to some good spells, I was like, eh, it's probably too late, you know? And I didn't really want to spec into a sorcery build. Um, I always like the idea of them, but they are kind of boring, and it doesn't properly prepare me for um, the actual boss fights. Like when most of my experience with the boss fight is getting their health bar down to half by just spamming projectiles at them from far away, it doesn't really prepare me for what comes after that, because I doubt there's many bosses in this game you can just kill with just spells, unless you just bring in a ton of the FP restoration items. Um, so it wouldn't prepare me for what came after that, where I had to get in there. I really, really liked my build at the end, just getting up in their face and dodging attacks was fun. Begin Journey 2. If you do not start over now, you can choose to begin Journey 2 later at the Table of Lost Grace in the Round Table Hold. We are not going to begin Journey 2. Um, yeah, we are gonna just go back. I, I'm trying to think of anything else I have. Like I said, really, really liked my build switch here at the end. It was a fun one, just, just getting up in people's faces, rolling into them, dodging their attacks. That's how I like to play, like, that's how I like to play Souls games. Um, obviously I used my shield a little bit, but, uh, definitely not too much. I do think swapping off of um, my other weapon was a good call, just because I was just getting bored with Moonveil. I was a little bit scared about swapping my build totally this late into the game, but it seemed like it worked out for me. I'm probably leaving a lot of side quests and everything unfinished. I'm glad I was able to get the, the Ronnie ending, actually. That was the one I wanted the most, just because I spent so much of the game hanging out with Blythe and everything that I was kind of connected to those characters and Ronnie herself. I mean, it seems like Ronnie is definitely... Ronnie and Melania are, like, incredibly popular. And I do love Ronnie. She's just... She's great. For, you know, what little bit we actually see of her. I just like her design. Her design's such a cool one, but... Alright, I should probably stop blathering on. It just... I don't know. I feel like I have a lot to say at the end of an adventure this long, so... I believe that is it. Just once again, thank you if you made it to this point. It does make me happy that people actually watched this, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and end this playthrough of Elden Ring off here. I hope you have enjoyed. I, I would hope you have if you've made it to this episode, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for something new.